Grace and peace to you this day. Our scripture passage that we will be looking at this week and uh, kind of really diving into is Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. And this um, is kind of the end chapter of the letter um, to the church in Ephesus. Um, so uh, it kind of sums up some of the other themes that have been talked about and touched on earlier in this, uh, you know, in the letter before um, we get to the final chapter. And so this is kind of a summary statement. Um, and so for us to really kind of understand um, chapter six uh, a little better, um, there's a, a few things I want to share with you um, just that have kind of been themes that have come before um, to make a chapter, this, these verses in chapter six make a little bit more sense. And the first is that um, the author um, here of this letter is, believes and is really kind of coming from the assumption that we are um, in the midst of this cosmic battle, that uh, Christ came um, to defeat Satan in this big cosmic battle um, between God and Satan, between good and evil, between death and life, and that we actually are kind of living in this in-between time, this already but not yet uh, kind of idea that Christ has come and death has been conquered, um, but death doesn't really want to admit that it has been conquered. And so it's still kind of um, still battling on, even though victory, we know victory is secure in Christ and that, that God has um, finally victory. Um, a good analogy of this is if we think about World War II um, and that kind of time between D-Day versus V-Day, um, right? When as we look at history, the success of D-Day and the invasion at Normandy really kind of um, secured the victory for the Allied forces. Um, but uh, the um, Nazi Germany and the German forces didn't really kind of um, surrender until uh, V-Day. They didn't really um, acknowledge that, that they were defeated until that end day. So we are kind of living in that kind of same time period that victory has been um, secured, um, but uh, it has not been, um, you know, the peace treaty hasn't been uh, and uh, secured and, and death hasn't, uh, and, you know, laid down all the arms and given us total victory. So we are in that time. And as we are in that time, you know, skirmishes and battles are still going on. And so God gives us, um, the armor uh, to protect us and to help us stand fast in that conviction that victory has won, that life is, um, that life has triumphed over death, that uh, good has triumphed over evil, and that we are living in the good and just reign of God and uh, God's kingdom that will be coming in fruition and in totality. But until then, we are given the belt, belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, shoes to help us proclaim the gospel of peace, a shield of faith, helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit, which is the sword of God. So as we hear all of these um, pieces of armor, you'll probably notice that they are all kind of defensive um, uh, weaponry, right? So they, they aren't really things that um, we can go and that we can attack with, but they are definitely more protective armor and uh, defensive uh, ways to defend ourselves and protect ourselves. Um, and so that is uh, what Christ has given us. Um, not this spirit to, to go and to be aggressors, for that is God and Christ's um, part. We are just to stand fast in the victory that we know is already secured in Christ and to stand fast together in this hope and the promises and the knowledge that Christ is victorious, that Christ's um, peace and reign is coming and will come and has come. So friends, might we stand fast this day? And I encourage you to read in its entirety uh, Ephesians, um, but to, specifically Ephesians 6 through 10, or Ephesians 6, Chapter six, verses 10 through 20. Uh, I have numbers do not uh, stick in my head, so I apologize. But I hope and I pray that you have a blessed week, that you know that the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
the love of God and the community of the Holy Spirit surrounds you, upholds you, encourages you, and goes before you and is behind you this day and forevermore. Amen.